an uncommon but potentially life threatening medical emergency that can occur in patients having little to no adrenal function and undergoing stressful dental treatment such as surgical extraction the condition may present with symptoms such as mental confusion nausea and vomiting myalgia and muscle weakness and can ultimately lead to loss of consciousness hello everyone welcome to the series on medical emergencies in dental practice today i will be discussing about acute adrenal crisis adrenal glands also known as suprarenal glands are triangular shaped glands located on top of both the kidneys the adrenal cortex produces three main types of steroid hormones mineralocorticoids such as aldosterone produced in the zona glomerulosa helps in regulation of blood pressure and electrolyte balance the glucocorticoids cortisol and cortisone synthesized in the zona fasciculata are involved in regulation of metabolism and immunosuppression the androgens produced by zona reticularis gets converted to fully functional sex hormones in the gonads and other target organs now adrenal insufficiency may be primary or secondary in nature in 80% cases of primary adrenal insufficiency there is autoimmune destruction of the adrenal glands while in secondary adrenal insufficiency there is hypofunction of the adrenal glands due to administration of exogenous glucocorticoids in patients with normal functional adrenal glands this leads to a disuse atrophy of the adrenal cortex and decreases its ability to increase corticosteroid levels in response to stressful situations the basic pathology behind acute adrenal crisis is the lack of glucocorticoid hormones this may occur due to sudden withdrawal of steroids in patients suffering from primary or secondary adrenal insufficiency physiologic or psychological stress that requires high level of glucocorticoid in the system bilateral adrenalectomy or removal of functional adrenal tumor suppressing the other gland sudden destruction of the pituitary gland and injury to the adrenal glands due to trauma hemorrhage infection thrombosis or tumor clinically the patient will present early symptoms such as mental confusion nausea fatigue and myalgia and muscle weakness the late manifestations include more severe mental confusion pain in the back abdomen and legs vomiting hypotension and partial or total loss of consciousness now coming to the management part the management can be divided into five steps step 1 termination of all dental procedures step 2 positioning if the patient appears hypotensive he or she should be placed in the trendelenburg position however if there are no signs and symptoms of hypotension position the patient according to his or her comfort after that circulation airway and breathing should be assessed and vital signs monitored the medical emergency service should be called and definitive care with administration of oxygen and emergency drugs should be started oxygen should be started at a rate of 5 to 10 liters per minute and in iv fluids 1 liter of normal saline is recommended for hypotension followed by 5% dextrose in case of low blood glucose levels corticosteroids are indicated if the patient shows signs and symptoms of acute adrenal insufficiency and have prior history of adrenal insufficiency or is using glucocorticoids these should be started immediately while waiting for acth stimulation test among the corticosteroids hydrocortisone 50 to 100 mg is recommended it can be administered im into vastus lateralis or mid deltoid region or can be given iv over 30 seconds Alternatively 4 mg dexamethasone can be administered intravenously every 6 to 8 hours. If there is loss of consciousness basic life support should be started immediately and patient should be shifted to an emergency care facility. At last some important points to note. Patients with secondary adrenal insufficiency are in more danger to develop acute adrenal crisis than those with Addison's disease. Dexamethasone is 100 times more potent than cortisol. Acute adrenal insufficiency should be suspected in patients exhibiting mental confusion, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain and 
हु आर अंडर ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड थेरेपी और हैव रिसेंटली सीज्ड लॉन्ग टर्म कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉइड थेरेपी ए सी टी एच स्टिमुलेशन टेस्ट इज अ लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट टू कन्फर्म एड्रीनल इनसफिशियंसी इन दिस टेस्ट पॉइंट टू फाइव एम जी सिंथेटिक ए सी टी एच इज एडमिनिस्टर्ड एट टाइम जीरो फॉलोड बाई सीरम सैम्पल्स टेकन एट टाइम जीरो वन आवर एंड सिक्स टू एट आवर्स नॉर्मल एड्रीनल ग्लैंड रिस्पॉन्स विद इंक्रीज इन कॉर्टिसोल टू एटलीस्ट टेन एम जी पर एफ एल और थ्री टाइम्स द बेस लाइन दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट एक्यूट एड्रीनल क्राइसिस हाउ एवर इट इज रिकमेंडेड टू रिफर द अपडेटेड एंड स्टैंडर्ड गाइडलाइंस रेगुलरली टू कीप योर सेल्फ अप टू डेट विद द इमरजेंसी प्रोटोकॉल्स इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोज आई विल टेक ऑन अनदर मेडिकल इमरजेंसी एंड इट्स मैनेजमेंट Till then if you found the video helpful and informative then do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more such content also you can download our app for more details and notes on dental and medical topics